Hello again everyone and welcome to another tips and tricks session on Fabrication Academy P2017. In this video what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can go from a 3D model and make an isometric drawing out of that. So what we're looking at here it's just um, we got some architecture here we got some uh, some piping here it's all kind of the same color kind of blends in together but um, as you can see it's a 3D model and uh, what I want to do here is I want to change a couple of things and what I'm doing here is I'm using the uh, the visual uh, styles here and I'm just picking a, the 2D wireframe so I can see it in 2D wireframe mode and I'm using the view cube to switch to a top view so what this does is it gives me you know just a plan view and we can look at everything uh, just in this plan view and what we want to do is we want to create an isometric drawing out of this and it's not too hard to do that it's um, you know we'll go to our work tab right now I'm in my model space tab we'll go to our work tab and typically I like to show a plan view and a 3D view and uh, but you can set this up any way you want and ultimately what you'll do is you'll set up a border and everything and your viewports the way you need them in this viewport I'll just si simply switch it to a hidden um, there's also an older type here that I, I want to talk to you about and this one might be the best method if you select the viewport you can go to the view properties and you can tell it that the shade plot not to display it as uh, 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 as displayed because what this does is it is it takes on the characteristics of whatever you've got going on within the visual style so here you'll see conceptual I'll go ahead and click that onto conceptual and as I zoom in you can see that it is in fact you know that particular uh, conceptual rendering style but what I really want right is I want the uh, the legacy hidden and you'll see that that legacy hidden doesn't pop up within these visual styles it just doesn't for some reason I, I'm not exactly sure however if you click the viewport and you access its properties you will see um, the shade plot you will see legacy hidden and even legacy wireframe so what this this refers to is it refers to I think it's pre AutoCAD 2000 um, the way it used to do the the hidden um, view view type there so what you what you will or will not notice is that it looks like it didn't change anything here so it's not hiding in the viewport itself but uh, when I go to plot this I'll just use my PDF plotter here I think I have one set up for Adobe where are you and uh, let's just go look at the preview of what that looks like with the legacy hidden as you can see um, the the plotting itself will will uh, will in fact take on the legacy hidden uh, attributes even though I'm not seeing it in the uh, in this particular view here I can see everything and um, it's not hiding anything in the viewport itself but when I go to plot and the other thing I want to do is I want to change so it's not doing the uh, the line weights give me one second let me go back to the Adobe PDF plot object line weights let's take that off it'll it'll just display a little bit cleaner so let's bring that into view here you can see the line work is nice and crisp it's hiding everything above and below the way it's supposed to and um, so I like I like the way that looks it feels like it's doing the right thing here and incidentally you can see it's bringing up bringing through the center line and that's all functionality of Fabrication Academy P. So to go from a 3D drawing to an isometric drawing, you would want to fully dimension that, and you can refer to my dimensioning, uh, my dimensioning video with the spool dims. I really like that tool. And combination of the legacy hidden will give you the appropriate uh, um, visual styles for you to print and create construction documents at a really high quality here. Um, so again, just a, a few things to to take a look at here. Um, what we did was we went from the model space. We were in a 3D view, as you can see, just to confirm. We are, in fact, oh, and incidentally, you can leave it. You don't have to switch this to paper space, right? So we're, in fact, in a 3D model. It's been It's got some dimensions, but 
imagine you went through the process of dimensioning everything. Um, the next thing that you would want to do is you would want to flip to your paper space and my tab is down here in the bottom left hand corner and if you don't see it you can always go to the view tab and get your layouts so that will turn that feature on and off as you can see in the lower left hand corner they are now off right so if I want them on I will just simply check that box on and down below you'll see that those paper space tabs will will reappear so just go to your paper space or make a new one doesn't matter go to your layout space and uh, you know here you would have your border and you would bring in um, you would bring in your different viewports so let me make another one and let's just start here I guess and make another one this one would be in plan views oh I hit the F1 button instead of hitting the escape key <laughs> but I'm sure that's never happened to you so again just go to the top view and rotate that so it's uh, horizontal there 2D wireframe and that's our default view for our plan view let's zoom into that particular room here and then let's do the same with this particular view except I want to look at this other corner there we go now this one even though it's in conceptual view um, you'll realize that if you select that particular uh, uh, viewport you go to its view properties it says as displayed by default it will always come in as displayed you'll want to use legacy hidden as I mentioned earlier and then the other one of course just leave it as displayed it's, it's fine and uh, ultimately when you go out when you go to print your uh, when you go to print your sheet you'll see that it's it's uh, set up the right way